Our solution is a game changer because it's the only one that unifies AI and RIS-5 under a single software solution. So it's radically going to change the way we do AI going forward. Wow. Engineers, it's pronounced RISC V, not RISC V. That RISC V, it doesn't just stand for reduced instruction set computing. Often for engineers, it means a risk. Going from something like a Times 86 architecture or from an ARM architecture over to a RISC V. RISC V, as we know it, it's been around for about 10 years with the initial concept about 15 years ago. Now it's time to talk to Semidynamics to see what's new in the industry, see what's going on. We've got a whole new AI revolution, and let's see what they're bringing to the table. Roger, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Pleasure talking to you. So, what, what is a RISC-V architecture? How does it differ from maybe an ARM area or, or a BI-86 instruction set? So, the fundamental difference between RISC-V and these other two you mentioned mm -hmm. is freedom. RISC-V is open, and anyone can implement it. Our listeners can go ahead and build uh, anything yes. with RISC-5, but most importantly, you can change it any way you want. Okay. This is something that neither x86 gives you, nor ARM, which you have to follow their rigid uh, specification, can offer. In RISC-5, you're free to innovate, to add instructions, to change features, to do whatever you want. Right, so for engineers, what, what does that actually mean? Does it mean faster designs? Does it mean more power efficient designs? Well, uh, you're engineering something and you have a problem you're solving, and there's that one instruction that would really speed up your algorithm. Right, that's, right. I don't know, adds two numbers and divides by three and subtract one. One, How helpful right? would that be? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, in the other architectures, that's it. You can dream about it, you can write about it, you can complain about it. In RISC-5, <laughs> go ahead, build it yourself, and you can add it. So that's a big difference with the other ones. Amazing. So where does Semi-Dynamics fit into the picture? Correct. So we are a RISC-5 IP vendor, and so our customer is someone building a, a chip, and mm -hmm. that someone wants to have AI in their chip. And we provide RISC-5-based AI solutions, so you can put in your silicon whatever you want. So for example, you can add a small NPU, large NPU, medium NPU, you tell us, and we have it ready for you. So we're combining two pretty big blocks, two pretty big topics in the industry. I mean, risk 5 is, is bustling at the moment, right. as is AI adding NPUs into your designs. What do we got behind us here? Well, um, Cervell is the mixture of those two important things you just mentioned, right? Mm -hmm. so on one side, what happens is that we uh, want to give a, a full ready solution to our customers. So mm -hmm. customers that say, I want an NPU at 60 tops because I'm running some Lama model. Mm -hmm. For those customers, we have it ready. But inside, those engineers that care about what's inside is the union of a RIS-5 CPU, a vector unit, and a tensor unit, as shown here, Amazing. as you can see later so you know uh, you can view it from a block I don't want to know I just need fast AI or you can deep dive inside uh, and do it there amazing so what does this mean for the engineer who's designing it what is having a scalable NPU actually mean for the end designer who's going to be putting this into an IC right so there's uh, one very important thing the first thing is that this is based on RISC-5. So uh, based on RISC-5 means that there are no secrets. Every All the software you're running is just like a program and that it, you can always enhance it. So mm -hmm. uh, most NPUs on the market that are not RISC-5 are closed objects. You don't know what's happening inside. You don't know yeah. how to change them. So that's a big change. The second thing for an engineer taking our solution is that it can scale. There's a little block or a medium block and you can put as many copies as you want from one top to hundreds of tops. So that's something you, that our uh, customers can optimize around. Amazing. In five years, where do you see this sort of technology developing? What do you think is going to come out of a union between machine learning capabilities and a RISC-V processor? Well, I think uh, I think all AI will end up running on RISC-V one way or another because yeah. the ability to, to add instructions is such a difference. So true. So it's true. so uh, easy to tailor a particular um, AI solution one way or another that I do think all the AI will pivot to RISC 5 in five years as you ask. Yeah, so at the end of the day, who is meant to care about your product? Who are you looking to talk to? Well, um, you're building a silicon chip. It's a lot of work. It's a very difficult project. Uh, mm -hmm. You may not want to design all of it by yourself. You probably have some secret sauce you want, but you need secret AI sauce, yes. in that chip. <laughs> Come to us, we'll you know, sell you, a, we'll license you our design and you'll be able to integrate in your chip. Amazing, awesome. 
If you want to talk to Semi Dynamics, we'll have a link down in the description that you can access. We'll get you in contact with Roger or someone else. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. Thank you.